I'm in Holdridge, Nebraska, outside of the local grocery store, and all this food around me came from the trash. One dumpster outside of here had enough food to feed me for the next three months. And I'll just show you some of the stuff I got. This entire box here is completely full of fruit salads and, and fruit that are just two days expired. Tomatoes, here's some grape nuts. This box here is full of avocados. Yeah, they're a little squished, but they're totally still good. Tons of bananas at their prime. Bags of spinach. Um, stuff like, I can't believe it's not butter. I mean, we all know this stuff doesn't ever go bad. Um, peaches, apples. What do we got here? Chunks of watermelon. This expired four days ago. We've got naked pomegranate blueberry drinks. And uh, these are definitely not going bad. I mean, they're in a sealed container. That's pretty much exactly what I needed right now, too. And then, I mean, on top of that, we've got all of these sandwiches. And every single one of these expired today, May 27th, 2013. Um, so, I mean, they're not even really expired. And they were all perfectly good in a box. We've got chef's salads that are still good, potatoes and gravy. Packed on May 24th, three days ago, expires today. Bags of chips, more watermelon, and just apples that are, again, I mean, still perfectly good. If I put this on your plate, you would have no idea that this came from a dumpster, which you can see right over there, that brown dumpster. So, so much food. I got, uh, there was like five of these orange juices in there. And I would say this right here, what you see, is probably about maybe a 50th or a 100th of the total food in there. Literally, we, they could have fed I mean, at least 50 families this weekend with the food that was all in there. Still good, and obviously a lot of it's good healthy food too. Even these bananas are even organic. Um, so. One thing I'm learning on this trip is that we do not have a shortage of food in the United States. The only thing we have is a distribution problem. The food is here, we're just not giving it to people in the right way. And one other thing that's absolutely horrible about this is a lot of these foods traveled thousands of miles. This came from Colombia. Colombia is probably 4,000 miles from here. So this traveled 4,000 miles to go to a dumpster. First it had to be grown, which takes all sorts of resources, all sorts of resources. Then it had to be shipped to the United States, which takes fuel and time and money. And then it had to be distributed here within the United States. And then they had to take the time to throw it away. That is a lot of time, energy, and money to put something in the trash. So, I'm not uh, saying that I have the solutions, but what I can say is that one thing we could do is we could compost all this rather than putting it in the landfill. We're in Nebraska. It's full of cows and pigs. Maybe pigs could eat it. And I mean, most importantly, the food's still good. We could give it to people who are in need. So there's a lot of different ways this food could get, distrib could get distributed um, rather than just putting in, a, in these valuable resources in the dumpster. So we're going to run over there and go check out the dumpster real quick and I'll show you real quick how much more food there was in there. So, this thing, if you look back here, is just loaded all these boxes, you can't even tell. I mean, check this out. 20 pound bag of potatoes, 10 pound bag of potatoes. That is not going bad. This whole thing is just completely loaded with food. So, 
I said it before and I'll say it again. We've got no shortage of food in the United States. We've got a distribution problem.